Hello, welcome back to Cost Electronics. Today I want to show you how you can replace a VGA chip without expensive equipment. All you need is a preheater. This one is from AliExpress. It works, no problem. A hot air gun with good temperature regulation and the basic soldering iron. Also a bit of solder rig to remove the solder from the PCB. After you have removed the PGA, of course. Maybe also you need is a piece of alum aluminum tape, <laughs> sorry, to protect heat sensitive components like capacitors and plastic connectors. But in this case no such components are in the working area. Maybe I don't use this. You can also use captain tape like this, but uh, I only have the small size. They are available in many other sizes, but for now I only have this. Let's start. First, place the PCB on the middle of your preheater. Kick on, set the temperature. I set it to about 180 degrees or 170 degrees it's a bit of experience if you go too high the PCB will be stressed and expands and some wires can break take care don't set it too high if you set too low you have trouble removing the BGI from the top with your hot air gun this is my set temperature. I am happy with this. Make good experience. I let heat it up now for a few minutes and then I come back and remove the BGA from the top. Moment please. Completely forgot to say you need tweezers of course. Anglet and straight one, whatever you want. So now the temperature is reached from the preheater. Now I'm starting to work from the top with my hot air gun. I set it to 300 degrees Celsius. Not more, otherwise you have brown marks on the PCB. We don't like that. It needs a few minutes to heat until the solder starts to melt. You can try to move the BGA carefully and as soon it moves when you touch you can remove it but not before otherwise you will break the soldering pads on the PCB. And then you have a piece of garbage. Make some circles with the hot air gun, not too far to the capacitors or to the connectors. Usually it takes about 3 to 5 minutes to heat until you can remove the old chip. I try to show you, if I touch the chip, it moves. Can you see? Again, it moves and goes back to the good place. Now this is the moment when you can remove the old chip. Let's do this. I go under the chip with tweezers and lift it carefully up. And then lift the chip away. Bam! That's it. Now you can clean the soldering pads with solder rig. Okay. Before you install the new chip, make sure you have a nice and clean surface like this here. And don't miss to remove any solder from the old chip. This here is good, now you can 
clean the area with some flux remover. I use this here, German manufacturing. The definite clean comes when you finish with all. For now, it's good when this area here is clean. I think it's clean. Double check with a magnifier glass. Perfect! Now installing the new chip. <laughs> AliExpress sells them this only in double pack. I just need one, I hope. Before I install the new chip, I add some solder flux again. Just a little. And me. <coughs> Take a brush like this. Okay. Now take the new chip, take care of the orientation, and place it in the correct position. This is very important, it must be correct as possible otherwise the chip is shifted and you can start from scratch again I think this should be okay look from the top Good, I would say. So now, start to solder this sucker in. Again, 300 degrees Celsius from the top. Before I start to heat with the hot air gun, I let the chip for a while that you can slowly Raising the temperature of the chip, this makes less stress for the chip. I let it sit already for about two minutes now. Now I'm starting to heat from the top and watch the process with my magnifier glass from the side. When you see the chip is going down, carefully try to move with the tweezers and if it snaps back to its place, then it's all perfect. This takes again about 3 to 5 minutes. If you do it right, if you use too high temperature from the hot air gun, the PCB will be stressed also and can be damaged. Nobody likes that. And also check if the chip doesn't move away from its place from time to time. I think now the chip is going down. Can't see really on the camera, maybe, but we can try to move the chip a little bit, but just a little bit. Oh, it's hot here. Yes, can you see? It snaps back to its place. Have you seen? Double check from the side if the chip is 
really flat on the PCB but when it moves back to its place then you can be 99% sure it's correct all so switch off the preheater and that's it please like my videos if you like and otherwise don't subscribe don't subscribe I'm happy for every subscriber I do my very best if I what I can so thanks for watching bye bye